Hello everyone, this is Holly Powell. Um, I just wanted to come on here and thank everyone for um, accepting me into this group. It This has been a journey that I've been on for three and a half years. I had a spiritual awakening and I was shown um, two numbers in the spirit and those numbers are the number two and the number eight. And they were also brought together to become a 28. And last but not least, I think even more important than ever, the num the number um, or two eights were shown as well, which equals 88. And I believe this is the key to seeing the micro and the macrocosms, the above so uh, <laughs> as above so below, and everything that's in us is reflected outside of us through the universe. Um, so the title of this presentation is The Universal Language and How It Connects Everything. Today's date is December 19th, 2015. It's actually December 20th, because <laughs> definitely past 12 o'clock. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get started, and I hope you enjoy this presentation. I'm not going to go in the justifications of all the vortex-based math and the Fibonacci, because I know all of you guys that are in this group <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, I already know all this information, so I'm just going to go ahead, go through this quickly and show you what I have, and I welcome any feedback that anyone could give me. So what I did in Excel, as I was learning about Fibonacci, I also stumbled upon um, Mark Roden's work and Randy Powell, so what I did for myself in Excel was to set up and play and crunch the numbers myself. I set it up to where I could go in here and pop in this number right here, and all my formulas change, the vortex-based math changes. I set up um, colors to show me patterns. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I did was I broke the numbers down into 12 sections. So um, I started with the zero because I feel like the zero is very important um, because everything started with nothing. And then from nothing grew through the spirit. So, um, so I started with a 12, our 12th step lands on a nine vortex based math. Go to the second set of 12s again on the 24 mark lands another nine. Um, if you want to look at any of these slides at greater length, just pause them because I'm going to kind of go through this kind of quickly. It's getting late where I am. So, um, and I know a lot, a lot of you already know this stuff. Um, 25 through 36 lands on the nine and then 48. This is our fourth step of the twelves and it lands on another nine. And then we have our, just a random set of numbers. So I thought, um, and then we, we have four steps of the 12. And then as you can see on the fifth step, uh, we have another set in the sixth step, my numbers became too large and it would not pull in the BBM. So, which was okay because the main thing I needed to see, I believe I saw, which was the fact that <clears throat> the first set of 12s and the fifth step set of 12s, it starts over because look at these colors right here. Pink, orange, purple, blue, green. You have over here pink, orange, purple, blue, green. It's the same set of colors. <clears throat> so, this next slide is just a representation showing uh, the first and the fifth steps blown up. They're the same colors. And this is where it gets really interesting. So I set up um, in my, my Excel sheet the Fibonacci spiral, which I know this is not a true representation of the Fibonacci spiral, but in order for me to um, do what I was going to do, I had to set it up this way. So as you can see, I highlighted the nine that every 12th step in the bold, 144 and so on, your other three. So what I did was I took this pattern right here, and instead of just showing the extremely large digits and numbers, I inserted the vortex-based math, and this is what I got, okay? So as you can see, this is where I started learning about one, two, four, eight, seven, five, and then 
369 or better yet 339669 <clears throat> alternating pattern that you see right here here's the one where I started and it popped in all the numbers thereafter and then as you can see on the right hand side you have 1818 and we all know it equals 9 um, and then on the the next step I did the same thing I popped in the two and I highlighted every place which is the 12th step um, and it gives us the vortex base math number as a nine so as you can see here are the highlighted areas with the nine and then again we have one two four eight seven five one two four eight seven five and then on the right hand side uh seven two seven two which equals nine so i definitely started seeing a pattern and whew, my eyes just became wide open whenever i started doing this for myself i think that's one of the main thing one of the main things learning <clears throat> Fibonacci and vortex based math and geometry <clears throat> sacred geometry is learning all about this by actually doing it yourself that's when the magic really starts to take place so our next number is the three I popped in the three again same patterns all around and this is the pattern I got a little bit different from the previous two that we saw because the three six and nine they're very special whereas I believe the one, two, four, eight, seven, five is the physical aspects. And then the three, six, nine is like the ether, the plasma, the spirit world of what's taking place in our two worlds, one seen and one unseen. And then here's our fourth, four, well, beginning with four in our spiral, the Fibonacci spiral. And then we see... The vortex based math still the same one two four eight seven five and then on the left hand side three six nine and on the right hand side whatever number we start with um will will yield the uh, two numbers that equal the nine so the four and the five are blue notice how this this um section right here is blue and we go to the five here are your all your numbers and then here's the vortex based math numbers and again it's not blue anymore it's the yellow so they alternate and then again we're gonna see the one two four eight seven five on every single uh, slide except for the three six and nine numbers here's our six and here's our pattern same as the three just opposite the light and the dark is gonna be opposite and then we have seven And here's the pattern for the VBM. Same as always. Here's our eight. Here's our pattern. Same, same, same. When you start realizing these things and seeing them for yourself, you're like, wow. It just, it just, I think it opens up your eyes and your heart and your mind. Here's the nine. Everything equals nine. It's definitely the spirit. So what I did was I took all the patterns and I just kind of placed them on the same board. Um, and you can definitely see there's the one and there's the eight. There's the two and there's the seven. There's the four and the five. And then we have the three and the six and then the nine. One, two, four, eight, seven, five, three, six, nine. And then this is my actual Excel sheet. Um, the other slides I just cut and pasted different sections. That way I wasn't, you wasn't blown away with all this information all at one time. So um, if anybody would ever would like to have this, I'll share it with whoever would like a copy. Um, this is the one key that you have to highlight and pop in your number. Uh, it will change everything. It will change all these numbers. It will change all the colors, all the colors in here. All the numbers in here, it just completely does it everything for you. I uh, set it up like that so uh, it would be simple and easy to manipulate and pull in different numbers. I also went on to do um, 111, 222, and I don't know if I can. Well, I'll show you later. But um, what happens is when you have three integers, um, that are the same, such as 111, that equals 3, 222 equals 6. So 
all the triple digit numbers will yield all the three, six, and nine. So that's kind of that was kind of interesting as well. Um, so what I did, I just clipped every single one of these pages just so you could see for yourself the numbers and the patterns and how it's arranged in my my worksheet. And then what I did was I um, I overlaid two patterns. I took the one and the eight and I overlaid them. And what I started to see was um, right here, the one and the eight overlap and then the three, six and nine overlap. So that was not really a big deal. But what I started seeing as I was um, turning these down and up, I, I said, well, let me look at those numbers. And I started looking at the pattern of the overlapping. And as you can see, you have eight and one, four and five, two and seven, all equals nine. So now everything on this whole two, um, two worksheets combined are equal in nine. This one right here, I just overlaid into a cross section. So again, you're seeing the four and the five overlap, the three, six, and the nine. And then kind of fun or funny right here is I started seeing the skin of the Taurus. So that kind of signifies how you actually derive at the, the skin of the Taurus. I have not tried anything with the, the donuts yet. I kind of wanted to start out small and I just... I don't, I don't think I've really seen anybody lay the pattern out kind of like this with the colors and everything. So I don't know if it's new. I don't know. I know that the concept of everything is not new, but just the way that I arranged everything, I hope that um, somebody finds use for it and that we work together and, and help bring about change through all these patterns. So what I do on this slide is I took two of the, the boxes or the Fibonacci spiral sequence in the vortex based math. And I kind of arranged them by each other. And as you can see, you're, you're going to see the helix of the DNA spiral, the sine wave, the octaves, the, um, surgery, uh, the tones, the frequencies, uh, ripples. I mean, anything that you've ever seen with your physical eyes, is going to derive from this pattern right here the wave the the vortex it's all about the vortex i'm obsessed with the vortex um and then on my last slide right here i just took the nine pattern and i kind of flipped them and turned them and so quickly you can spot this shape right here but then you have right in here um the same pattern it's just kind of a little bit more hidden kind of like kind of looks like going in and out, um, up and down, um, just the toroidal flow and the mapping of, of a two day, 2d representation of how it looks laid out flat. So I hope someone gained something from this and I hope that you guys will give me feedback on what you liked, what you didn't like, what I could change, what I could do different. Um, I'm just here to um, learn from like-minded in individuals such as myself. And I will say that my heart and mind are wide open. I listen to anything. I respect everyone. And I definitely have been taught where we are and from my beliefs, I believe that we are inside our creator, just as our cells are inside of us. When I started seeing all these patterns, it just became so obvious and real to me that um, it just, it, it's what's been teaching me and showing me things. And for all this, I'm thankful. And I just pray that this blesses you. Have a great night and great morning.